Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you why most car salesmen, most salespeople never get what they deserve. Check this out. All right, guys, so in this video, I want to talk to you about why most car salesmen, most salespeople in the world never get what they deserve because they spend all of their time protecting what they have. So listen, one of the things that I'll tell you that doesn't exist, especially in the automotive space, is called self-investing, okay? So most of the GMs and managers and people that I grew up with, I've been doing this for 23 years, I'm 18, right? When I got in the automotive industry, I just turned 18 and I'm almost 42 now. My entire life I've been in sales. And I wanna tell you when I got in, it was about my first six months, I wanted to be at the top of the board. And I saw this sales training that came up and I asked my manager, I said, hey, what do you think about me going to that? And you know what he said to me? He said, hey, nah, dude, you don't need to go to that. Time and experience. Say these two words to me, Andy. Time and experience. Time and experience will get you there, all right? So just get your butt back out there. Don't take your days off and make sure you're here to open the gate and close it at the end of the night. And if you'll do those things, you'll have outworked everybody else and that is how you'll get to be great. So that was the advice I took. So I went another six months and I noticed that, look, I couldn't work any more hours because I worked all the hours I possibly could. I was opening the gate and I shut it. I worked my days off and I was given everything that I had. The problem is, is that I was working harder than everyone else in the store, but my closing ratio wasn't getting any better. My closing skill wasn't getting any better. Now, sure, and obviously I'll say this to you, it was great for me to be able to go take all these ups and burn them, but I was wasting the company's money. I was. And I went back to my manager again. I said, hey, do you feel like when a customer comes in and I can't close them, do you feel like that that's a bad thing? Because I do, and I hate to run in and go get you guys every time. I'm really thinking about going to get in this training program I'm reading on. And he said, Andy, you don't have to do that. Look, if you wanna waste $1,000, do me a favor. Just give me your $1,000, I'll sit down and train you. Now, at this point, I noticed it had been a year and no one had trained me at all. And all of a sudden, when I wanted to go do training, they were talking about, look, I'll just train you. Well, if they were gonna train me, why wouldn't they have? Now look, there's no eight step system to becoming a millionaire, okay? There's no like, just do this and you're gonna be successful. You gotta learn the psychology of selling, which means psychological, the mindset of being a sales warrior. You gotta understand this physical skill tactic, right? Which means if someone says no, how to get them to say yes, how to rebuttal, how to handle objections, how to teach closing. I, I needed all of those things. I wanted to learn how to use my hands and how to talk to people. I wanted to be a public speaker because isn't that what I did? I spoke to people for a living when they came in. I was a public speaker, but I was being taught to be a car salesman. So what I did is that I went ahead and I said, hey, I'm going to this. So I went to it. I spent $1,000 and I went to a Tom Hopkins seminar back in 1999. And what happened was I was making about four grand a month, five grand a month. My first month back, I made $10,000. Now what I've learned is this. When I started making that $10,000, I'd never had 10,000 before. I wanted to keep that 10,000 and I didn't want to lose it. There was another training program that had came up. This is back in 2000. This is about six months later. And it was over a closing school, right? And I think Grant Cardone was having it. This is going all the way back to 2000. And I said, man, I wanted to go to it. I think it was like $1,300. Well, guess what happened? I talked to my manager again about it. He goes, dude, listen, man. He goes, you're doing great. You're doing better than everyone else. You're good enough. And at that point, I had a choice in my life. I could either stand to try to protect everything that I had, or I could bet the farm and I could risk some of the money that I've earned to put back into training to keep making more money. And that was the difference why most salespeople don't get what they deserve, because they're working so hard to protect what they have. You know, people try to protect being broke. It's just the truth. You're broke right now. You've got five grand in the bank. You're working so hard to protect that $5,000 then guess what? You're gonna stay broke your whole life. Guess what I did? I spent 1,300 bucks. And guess what I did? I made $20,000 the very next month. Every time in my life I've invested in training, every time, I've made more money. I've gotten better, I've gotten sharper. And by the way, it's not always about making more money to me. It's about mastering the craft. I love going through life and being able to make great decisions. I love being able to sell and persuade and close. It's very important. And it's something that pays a ton of money in this lifetime to know how to do. And by the way, it pays a ton of money if you know how to be the best at it. 
That's what I want you to understand. Is that now it's your time to understand, will you be in one of the top 1% or will you be the 99% that's on the four lane highway that everyone else is? Because you don't get to be both, okay? You don't get to have the easy life and not invest and stay in the 99%, right? Okay, you don't get to have that life but then have the money. You either gotta spend it, be the one percenter, go learn what your competition don't know. If you look like your competition, sound like your competition, your customer is gonna treat you like your competition. It's that easy. You know why when I talk to people, whenever I'm closing and I'm selling and I'm working deals, why people say to me, Andy, God, man, it's so different when I'm talking to you. I have a very magic special effect. I call it the effect, the effect. It's the effect that I have when I'm working with somebody or I'm selling somebody something. I want you to remember that for the rest of your life, the effect. Do you have that? It's a very special niche that I learned. You're not born with it, you learn it. It's not the gift of gab, it's something that you learn when you're, when you're working with somebody to read them, their body language, their tonality, to not be a checkers player, but be a chess player and stay 15 steps ahead of your customer every single time. Only can you learn how to do this through training. Okay, so the question I wanna ask you is, do you have 100,000 liquid in the bank? 200, 300, or do you go to your ATM machine, right? And you've got 10 grand in the bank, or five grand, or you're even negative. Look, it doesn't matter to me where you're at, okay? It means nothing right now. What matters is that you're willing to grow. As you're watching this video, will you please re replace the fixed mindset, the one that's fixed, that says, I can't do that, that's not me, that's not my life, I don't deserve that, that won't work, the pessimist, right? Look, I can find 10 reasons why what he's saying isn't right. And when you find it, you're delighted because you're always looking for the ugly and everything. Or you'll be the optimist and you'll become the one percenter. And what you'll do is you'll say, hey, I'll manifest and I'll speak into this world and I'll tell them exactly what I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna train like hell every day the rest of my life until I get there. And I'm gonna push and I'm gonna surround myself with great people. I'm gonna audit my circle and I'm gonna remove all toxic people in my life. I am no longer going to think small and guess what? Try to protect the things that I have. My family, yes, but material stuff, no. I'm gonna bet the farm and I'm gonna be a risk taker. No more thinking small in my life. I'm going all the way to the top. And guess what? The best investment you could ever have in life is you. Start investing in yourself like you've never imagined. Buy every training program in this world you could ever freaking imagine. Study everybody. This world's your library. If you know what you're looking for, it'll give you what you're looking for. Look, if you won't pay for something, how will someone ever pay you for something? You know, it's so crazy. I see the greatest salespeople out there wanna go earn a lot of money, but guess what? They won't pay for anything on their own. That's just karma that comes back around to you. You have to understand this, self-investing is everything. When you pay for something, it means you'll pay attention. The money holds you accountable. If I spend $5,000 on a training program, I'm getting $5,000 out of that person's butt. You know what that means? I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna grow. I just wanted to share this with you. This is something that I didn't have growing up and I learned and I still understand why so many salespeople stay stagnant and stay in the same place their whole life because no one's ever been a great mentor for them and taught them to invest. You're gonna be a millionaire. Say it to yourself, you're gonna be a millionaire, but you've gotta get out of your own way. You can either be your greatest asset or your worst enemy, okay? Don't let the enemy side of you with that fixed mindset get in the way of you becoming who you could have been, okay? Have the growth mindset. Push yourself to new levels every day. Don't live in scarcity, okay? Raise your targets through the roof, okay? Aim high, I promise you, you'll hit high. But you've got to get skill acquisition. So train your tail off. I'll see you guys in the future. Go hard.